Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Gravel. This is Sunday, the 6th of March, after a very good day's racing at uh, Turfentine yesterday. We're um, Gravel on the turf, uh, 23 pentrometer, 8 meter false rail. First race is off at 12.30, and it's a 1,000 meter maiden juvenile plate for fillies. Looks like an absolute two-cornered contest. Uh, one ride on, very good first run. Anton Marcus now gets the ride on, ride on. And um, a Little Miss KJ, I thought ran an exceptional race too. The draw is against her, drawn eight, but there's two scratching, so she comes into uh, draw six, which is going to help. But Ride On ran really well. First time out, Aditi gets some sort of chance. And then Tabitha Cat looks like an improver as well. Race two, Maiden Juvenile Plate, they go 1,000 meters. This is a very interesting race because all the money is for Don Carrari from the uh, Kareem stable. Lorenzo taking out his license, had a few winners, uh, but he always helped with the Gavin Finze Gareth Finzel uh, runners that were um, under Gareth's name, but he was doing most of the work apparently. And Serena Mudley, uh, as uh, Craig Zaki gets uh, the leg up. Silver Ducket, I think, is going to be very difficult to beat. This is a pacey horse. Get Serena Mudley on it this time. And I think Serena Moodley gets a choice there. Interesting to see that um, Zaki was on it last time and um, uh, Kamalo is on the stable companion superior force. So I'm going to go with a Silver Ducket to give um, uh, superior, uh, to give um, Don Carrari some sort of race in the, uh, the second. Race three, maiden plate, 1400 meters. Laughs runner number two, Global Secret, got to have a big chance. Uh, Anton Marcus on a good draw, everything in its favor, lots to like about it. But it doesn't stop there. Pekara comes from Johannesburg with good form. Uh, Star of Glow needed its last run and I think is a big improver. American Style didn't run badly. Uh, we then have Elusive Dream, uh, ran a very good last race and is your favorite from the Gavin Fonzale yard. And they look like the ones that should be able to fight it out. Race four, maiden plate, 1,600 meters. Well, I'm going with runway song here, number five on the card. Um, uh, Justin Snape's runner with Anton Marcus on board at two ex exceptional runs. And this looks like absolutely cherry ripe for runway song. If he gets beaten, it will be a real shock. Uh, the rest of them, Head Gardner might be better over the 1,600 meters. He's got to be held up. He's got to be settled. So he's got to have some sort of chance. Race five, Merit rate at 68. They go 1,600. And I'm going with Admiral Berman for Justin Snape to have a quick double. Uh, Rachel Venica rides this as number three. Course and distance, one from one. Lots to like about Admiral Berman. But if he fluffs his lines, there are a number of horses that come into it. Um, a horse like Whispers of War, he's much better than his Merit rating. He will improve. Brandenburg shows pace. Um, the appeal, course and distance, three runs, one win. And then Walton Hall. Have a very close look at number 11, Walton Hall. Craig Zaki gets aboard it. He's very well merit rated. This horse is in the right place. And he's certainly much better on the turf than he is on the poly. And you'll see that uh, his last few runs, he started showing glimpses of being there or thereabouts. I expect him to go well. Race six, Mary rated 83, um, and they go 1,200 meters. This is a very nice race. One winter air uh, with uh, Marcus Aborda for the Gareth and Zell outfit. Good chance. Ten, Fateful Zay from his father, Gavin Stable. Two from two with Rachel Venica. This will go well too. And then the danger to them both might be Goliath Heron. Uh, he really loves the uh, uh, Gravel circuit. You look at some of his best form, he's run against the best of them. And he's um, uh, done well since he's moved to Clinton Binder in Joburg. Craig Zaki gets a leg up on him. Uh, three runs, of course, in distance, one win. So he could be a major, major player. But they look like the three that will fight it out. Quant Master, I'm going to give him another chance. Um, and uh, the rest of them have got a big problem. Race seven, there's a pinnacle three-year-olds, 1,400 meters. And I'm going with number seven, uh, Party Time. Third run. Good form. This horse is uh, boxed with some top horses. Socrates, Aquabolt last run. Uh, looked like he's a bit flat, but this will be a much better race for him. Very, very hard to beat. But then the other um, two three-year-olds, which are um, 
a million do 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 whatever it is, but it's more than eighteen letters or eighteen letters. So I don't know how it was allowed. As I said last time, one in a canter last time. That's number four on the card. Warren Kennedy back on him. He's a very nice looking horse, big son of Dynasty, out of a high chaparral mare. Uh, he'll go all day, this horse. I don't know that this is his trip. I think that he'll need further than this, and that's why I'm going with Party Time, who will be properly suited to this game, this race. And then AJ's captain gets a four kilogram claim, but races from the worst draw of the lot, and that makes it difficult for apprentices. Uh, they've got to get lucky and find a place. So comes into the race with a chance. Race eight, mirror of 74, uh, 1400 meters. Well, I thought this was Lady Serena um, was the right horse here or Northern Warrior. Between the two of them, number two and number four, Greetham gets a ride on uh, Lady Serena and Rachel rides Northern Ronnie, uh, Warrior. I know I'd rather be with Rachel than Greetham any day of the week. So that gets the top choice, but it's very open apart from that. His horses like National Unity could run very well. Nice, improved last run. Pink Floyd, improved last run as well. Robert Carty, back in Durban, got a chance. Brazil Nut shows a lot of pace. Um, and then the two big roughies are Parktown and Palace Wind for your quartets. Put them both in. I think they'll both run well. So all in all, most interesting days racing at Greyville. And um, as you can see, I'm back in Durban without my Interbet shirt. My apologies to Interbet, but um, I'm just here for two days for my father's memorial service. So um, it's quite a sad uh, time for me, but uh, we should be have a nice day's racing today. And um, I hope you all enjoy it. From me, James Goodman, all the best.